What's going on fish nerds? I rarely buy fish from a big box store, chain store like Petco and PetSmart. I almost always buy from local fish stores or I get my fish from other hobbyists. Every now and then I'll buy something from like Aquabid, that kind of a thing. But I rarely ever go to a box store to actually get fish. I'll do the dollar per gallon sale to buy tanks, equipment, that kind of thing. But let's just be honest, the local fish stores and your fellow hobbyists, they're gonna have a better selection, they're gonna have more variety, and honestly, usually their fish are healthier. So that's just usually the way I do it. But not everybody has that option. There's a lot of people that live in places where they don't have a local fish store available or they don't have a club that they can go to. A lot of people, their only option is your Pet Smarts, your Petcos. So I thought today, why don't we compare the two? Let's look at a Pet Smart, let's look at a Petco, and let's see who has the better selection of fish. I'm not gonna look at equipment or anything like that. I'm just gonna look at their fish and see who has the better options, whether that's a better variety, better health, you know. Let's look at all that and see who wins Pet Smart or Petco. Now, obviously this isn't gonna be all Petcos or all Pet Smarts. You know, your mileage may vary. You may have a really horrible experience at one and a great experience at the other in the part of the country where you're at. But I'm gonna look at my local Petco, my local Pet Smart, and let's see who outperforms the other. So let's go inside and let's see who has the better fish. All right, so Petco. Here's your fish section. You actually have some salt water down there, but most of your freshwater stuff is right here. And they've actually got some frozen food. I know I said I was only gonna show and talk about fish, but they do have some frozen foods, which is cool. And before we show these fish, check this out. Got some golden thread turtles in here. These guys are pretty cool. What's up, buddy? What's up, buddy? Also, we've got koi in their own tank over here. It's not really koi season anymore, but there they are. Those are some tiny little baby koi right there. It's like an inch long koi. All right, anyway. Starting off over here. Got us some giant danios. Additional partner to the register. Actually. And a golden wonder killy right there too. And we got some Australian rainbows. Got us some platies down here, some variatus. Sword tails. Some red tail black sharks. basically standard fare that you'll find at most box pet stores. Some Dalmatian mollies. Yolo. Yo-yo loaches. I almost called them Yolo loaches. Yo-yo loaches acclimate in the bag there. Balloon mollies. Some big old mollies up here. Gold dust mollies and little mollies. Some more assorted mollies down here at the bottom. Some long fin. Oh no, maybe not. Just regular zebra danios up top. Uh oh. Fish down casually. Got some long fin skirt tetras. And some red eye tetras. There. Some black neons. They're looking pretty good. I like the black neons. And got your tiger barbs. Some black skirt tetras down here. Got some snails. 
the Serpang Tetra in there. It looks like it might be the last one left in there. And they've actually got some plants in here. There's a sword plant there. Anubius. Another sword. What have we got in here? A Nerite snail. It's not something I've seen at PetSmart very often. Petco's got them. Got some guppies in here. Looks like some guppies in that bag. I don't think the camera's going to get through that glare, but there's some guppies in there. More black skirt tetras. Marigold sword tails. And of course your glowfish. Everybody's got the glowfish. Got a crayfish in there with those. More glowfish. The glow rainbow shark is crazy looking. Glow tiger barbs. White skirt tetras. Yeah. Oh, it looks like some glow light tetras back here too. Bela sharks. Ember tetras. They got a bunch of ember tetras. That is not something that I'm used to seeing at a box store. Every now and then I'll see tetras at the uh, local fish store, but that's a pretty cool treat finding them in a box store. Some long fin surveys. I don't know, those don't seem very long fin to me, but that's what they're calling them. Some mixed guppies. And Buenos Aires tetras down here. These guys look pretty good. I like the Buenos Aires Tetra. And pass our sink station. Feed or goldfish. And passing those up. We've got some cichlids over here. We've got some fire mouth over here. Some assorted Africans, according to the sign, yellow lab there. Goldfish down here. Little shabunkies. More goldfish. And coming up here, we've got some more cichlids. A pair of hiding out back in there. Oscars, but they must have sold out of the Oscars. And all this salt water. Got a clownfish. Got an anemone in there. Got jam and cardinals. Shrimp. Come down here, got a yellow tang. Got a yellow tang. Orchid dotty back. It's pretty cool looking. Saltwater's got the color, man. Saltwater's got the color. Uh, the dames are there. Another one there. Shrimp in there. Starfish. It's a cool looking starfish. It's real cool looking. And a little black clownfish. He's cool. I'm sorry, no. this has a sort of damsel, but I thought that looked like a black clownfish. Maybe I'm stupid. Alright, that's the Petco's fish. But they do also have the plants. I don't think we're going to find this at PetSmart. It was actually really good. It's a Petco Betas. This big old dude. He's ginormous. So is he. These guys are huge. I mean, for a 
betta at the store. I guess King Mail? Are these the giant bettas? I don't know. Whatever King Mail means. Half Moon Mail, he's really pretty. His colors aren't great, but he's enormous. Nobody in there. Copper mail. What you look like, bro? Mail tail. He's pretty standard looking. He's acting good though. He's pretty. I like him. Somebody's not happy about getting food or something. Mail. Got some more. We got some more. Baby girl. Nobody I don't know what that's about. Oh, literally, it's a nope, baby female. So. That's cool. I apologize for the shaky video. I'm using my phone instead of my camera so that I'm a little more discreet. I have baby bettas. That's so weird. Look out. They got the giant bettas on the other side, but they look kind of high. Look at that. I'll give Petco credit. They've got some good looking bettas. I'm assuming as energetic as all these guys are that these cups are getting changed out like every day. He's a little lethargic active, but a lot of these are really active fish. Super, super cool. That is awesome. Very cool. Holy cow, I keep finding more bettas. I got all kinds of them. Pretty. 
that's pretty. And I just got bettas for days at this place. All right, now on to PetSmart. All right, so here's the lineup at PetSmart. What we got here to start off with got some black skirt Tetris up here, a few of them. Got some, according to this, white finned rosy Tetris, but yeah, there are some of those in there, kind of back in the back. I can see them better on the screen because my eye level's down here, so I can see them better on the camera than I can in person. Some more Tetris here, a couple cherry barbs. Down here we got hermit crabs. We got fiddler and red claw crabs down here. There's a red claw crab. Actually don't see any fiddler crabs in there. Empty tank. Uh, mostly empty. We got some neon Tetris over here though. Lampi Tetris. Black Neons, just a few of them. Not many. Uh, doesn't look like there's anything in there. Zebra Danios. Man, they need to clean the plexiglass. Plexiglass is dirty. Got some Isbora Hats up here. Got some rainbows and some white skirt tetras, or gold skirt tetras according to them. If there's a difference between white skirt tetras and gold skirt tetras, somebody tell me in the comments below. Some mystery snails. More rainbows down here. Says bows money. But those don't look very bows money to me. And that's not to say they're not, just they are, they don't look great. But some yellow guppies. Some cooler looking guppies. Focus on that guy. More guppies. More guppies. What we got down here? Madagascar rainbows. And a couple, looks like female swords, I guess. Some peppered quarries down there. I'm telling you, this plexiglass is killing me. It's filthy. Gold mystery snails, some more guppies. I do like these guppies. I think they're really sharp. some velvet wag sword tails but calling shenanigans because that's a male and there's no sword those are platings people get it right um, platy there we got down here some more platies some sunburst platies Some more platies and some more dirty plexiglass. A lot of these lights are off too. I don't know what's up with that. Got a gold zebra danio and some more platies. Some more platies. I, mean, I guess if you're into platies, you can get you some at Petsmart. Dalmatian mollies. And what we got over here? Some more mollies. A little stressed out. Some black mollies. And a ladder. Nothing in there. Gold Chinese algae eater in there with the black mollies. Nothing. Nothing. Some Bela Sharks, some Grammys. We got the Powder Blues, Powder Blue Grammy. 
That's some glare. There we go. Some opaline grommies. Giant Danios. Koi Angels. I like those. Guy's pretty. Albino Rainbow Shark there. Some more Angels. Some more Angels up there. Siamese algae eaters looks like. Yep, or Siamese flying fox, according to them. And one lonely angelfish back there behind the scuffed up plexi. Got the shear back there. Eucalyptus. Dinosaur of the shear, according to them. Gold ram cichlid. Uh, don't see in there. That don't seem good. That don't seem right. What else we got? Ooh, electric blue car. Got a loving electric blue car. Clips cat. That's all that's in there. Lots of the goldfish. Lots and lots. Some tiger barbs. And okay. some barbs. Yeah. Okay. So I'll let you guys look and then I'll come check on you guys again. When you guys look at the tag, this corner tells you if it um, aggressive or community. Okay. It'll say community. If it doesn't say community, then it's aggressive. Okay. For a first time fish tank, stay away from the aggressive. Because the aggressive are going to each eat each other. Okay. Or they'll eat the community ones if you put them in with the community fish. Okay. Okay. So for what you guys are probably looking for, you know, for me, like the tiger barbs, you can see like the tiger barbs in the tank. Um, we've got a couple different types of tiger barbs. Otherwise, everything we're wanting to look at is in here, that way. Those are all of our community fish. Um, they like little, little bitty Oscars. Yeah, they're tiny. Uh, about nose. Uh, they're only about an inch, inch and a half long. Yeah, I'm doing good, thanks. some cucumber in there for him. Good call. And some koi. Got some 
comets down here. And Shabunkins. And a bunch of feeders, of course. They all got that. And some big And a puppy, sounds like. Not a big fan of black boy. Ends up just looking like a big old carp in my opinion. Unless you could get one that was just so jet black it was obvious. But... That's what they got here at PetSmart. Alright guys, so I apologize for the audio quality in there. I was trying not to be uh, too disruptive and talking and making a video while cust or people are trying to help customers. So, what do you think? I've got to say, I'm giving it to Petco on this one. I think the quality of their fish was better. I mean, PetSmart had a much bigger section for their fish, but a lot of the tanks were empty. Fish didn't always look so good. A lot of them were kind of washed out. And, and I'll say Petco had more healthy bettas, I think, than PetSmart had fish at all I mean obviously not counting the feeder goldfish that kind of thing but I'm, I'm gonna give the edge to Petco on this one in this instance this Petco versus this PetSmart I think in general this Petco had a little bit better variety and had better quality fish and all those bettas man just puts them over the top I didn't even show PetSmart's bettas it wasn't even worth talking about the, the bettas that they had at PetSmart, but Petco's crushing it in there as far as they had some really pretty bettas, but let me know what, let me know, let me know what you guys think in the comments below, which store do you prefer, do you shop at either, is there another big national chain that I should have uh, included in this, let me know in the comments below, but for now I will say thank you guys for watching, you're awesome. God bless you, fish nerds, and I'll see you next time. Oh, and don't forget, uh, two weeks from now, on September 27th and 28th, Saturday and Sunday, in Chicago, I will be at Aquashella. So if you're able to get to that, please go go to aquashella.com to get more info on that. Fish Tube booth will be there. I'll be there. I'm actually bringing my wife this time, so I think you guys ought to try to come. But God bless you, fish nerds. I'll see you next time.